my first official act as governor, I'm going to take two important steps. One is to sign an executive order committing Minnesota to the so-called early opt-in for Medicaid that is essential to providing better health care to all Minnesotans. It will provide $1.2 billion in federal funds, which the Minnesota health care providers, including the Minnesota Medical Association, the Doctors of Minnesota, the Hospital Association of Minnesota, have requested for months now to enable them to be reimbursed at better rates for providing health care services to low-income Minnesotans so that they, in turn, can not divert resources, particularly hospitals, from emergency room care for all Minnesotans. So this is a step that benefits all the people of our state at no, and I repeat, no net cost to the state of Minnesota. If you can show me anywhere in the Constitution where it says that Congress has the authority to le legislate health care, let me know. I have gotten my medical care courtesy of the VA for the past 41 years. I totally understand what government health care is all about. I oppose this legislation. When the world feels alone, it's your family that walks in and stands by your side. And as a clinical social worker and a sister, I was proud to be able to help him. However, we quickly learned that because of the cuts to GAMC, my brother was denied health care needed to treat his life-threatening cancer. It is because Governor Dayton's commitment to sign the executive order opting Minnesota into Medicaid that there will not be another sister who was forced to watch her brother desperately wait days, then weeks, and months for necessary information and treatment. Uh, we are disappointed that Governor Dayton this morning has joined with President Obama and liberals in Washington in pushing our state and country further down the path of government control of health care. By agreeing to enroll Minnesota into the early expansion of Medicare, Minnesota becomes only the second state to accept the federal expansion of health care, otherwise known as Obamacare. Uh, today, as uh, was noted, Governor Dayton unilaterally decided to enroll Minnesota in the federal Obamacare program uh, throughout, throughout the entire state of Minnesota. Since last year's budget balancing bill compromise, there's been much concern regarding its constitutionality. 